the last three years, we've been working very hard in partnership with mobile operators, in partnership with, with landlords, including our local authority partners in cities like Birmingham, and also in partnership with industry and public services to accelerate the rollout of 5G networks and to test and prove the benefits that 5G can deliver in a number of key sectors in the West Midlands. So firstly, in terms of getting those benefits in place, I'm delighted to say that thanks to all of our work with mobile operators, with landlords and local authorities uh, and government, we've had great success in accelerating the rollout. So the first benefit that we're seeing is we're starting to see the early stages of large amounts of 5G coverage in our city centres like, uh, like Birmingham. So today, we, according to independent analysts, we have 22% geographic coverage in our region, which is the highest in the UK. Because we're a heavily urbanised region, that equates to over 50% population coverage. In other words, 50% of people uh, in the Midlands have access to a 5G signal from one or multiple um, operators. So we're starting to get the network out there at scale. That's the first benefit. But what the really exciting benefits are obviously what we do with the network. And we're starting to see and starting to prove those benefits in a number of areas in cities like Birmingham. And I guess these areas relate to this, this overall concept of smart cities that people talk about. So the first set of benefits is really around the transport system. So we've deployed the UK's first 5G road sensor network. That's about HD video cameras, pollution sensors, radar sensors on road junctions connected back to 5G, uh, connected back via 5G to the real-time traffic control centres and we're using that real-time anonymised data to make better decisions to control traffic flows in order to reduce congestion and reduce pollution on the roads. In addition to that, we're also using a, a variety of trials on the tram systems in the, in the Midlands, the Midlands Metro, on the railway and in other public transport contexts to improve the efficiency and public safety of the systems. Uh, for example, things like predictive maintenance, track maintenance, pantographs, the electric cables that, um, that some, of, uh, some of the trams and railways use, and how those can be better maintained and, uh, and better utilised so that there's less time and less money spent on maintenance. We're also doing of proving the benefits around improving the passenger experience and also improving safety. And some of that's around, uh, for example, some of the trials we've been doing to help partially sighted people navigate better uh, across the public transport network. Some of it's been about advanced uses of CCTV and, and LiDAR scanners to improve things there. So lots of benefits we're starting to see emerge around transport. The second area where we're starting to prove benefits is around health and social care. So we ran the UK's first 5G uh, ambulance trials um, with, uh, with BT and Universities Hospitals Birmingham three years ago and started to prove the opportunity for 5G when it's deployed at scale to enable a paramedic in an ambulance to carry out procedures like for example an ultrasound scan uh, guided by a clinician back at a hospital many miles away uh, in order to better diagnose and treat the patient at, at point of first contact. Since then we've started to prove the benefits of 5G to enable better remote care in care homes. So we have 18 care homes in the West Midlands connected up with 5G um, uh, equipment and sensors, which enables doctors, again, many miles away from the care homes to uh, effectively do all of the equivalent monitoring and patient support that they would do if they were there in person, but to, to be able to do it in real time without the risk of uh, infecting the patient if they, if they were to travel, something I think we're all acutely aware of, uh, given COVID, but also uh, enabling that real-time support, so saving that travel time for both the patient and also for the clinician. Um, we've also uh, started to prove the benefits uh, in terms of uh, something even more pioneering, which is, uh, which is early bowel cancer detection, uh, so using uh, the, these little uh, pill cams, which are, as their name suggests, uh, pills with cameras on either end that can, uh, in the future, they've been medically proven, but in the future, hopefully, delivered to people's homes and with a connected experience using 5G, they will be things that hopefully in the future people can use to self-diagnose cancer much more uh, quickly, much more comfortably and much more easily and effectively than they can today.